everybody, it's Margaret and I am bringing you this weekly sales update report and it is a week overdue. Last week was Thanksgiving week here so it was kind of tough. We had the kids home all week and I've got to say my sales have been really, really good but fourth quarter is happening so um, that's always awesome, uh, especially this time of year when we're doing our Christmas shopping and things like that. So I'm going to jump right into it because I have a lot and I don't want this to try not to make it too long. All right. I am going to show you everything that I've sold because I like to, you know, when I first got started, this is how I got ideas for what to pick up, how I got ideas for kind of how to list things. I mean, so I just like to, to share everything because why not? Um, and this is an early, early, early listing you can see because I'm a rookie shooting it on the carpet and you know but I, I was just starting up so this has been on for a little while um this was something of my grandmother so it didn't cost me anything it's called mealtime magic it's a little pamphlet type cookbook um it sold for $9.99 <clears throat> and these are my Etsy sales Etsy beat eBay this week and these the last two weeks by leaps and bounds by the way so if you're still on the fence about Etsy like I said, it takes time to get things rolling, but when they start rolling, they start rolling. Um, so yeah, after shipping and fees, I uh, profited $10.25 because the shipping, If don't give me a hard time about it. Let me just show you real quick, because sometimes people give me a hard time. How is your profit more? Okay, they paid $9.99, they paid $3.50 shipping. It only costs $2.04 to ship it. So that profits that much money over. You know, there's a little bit of wiggle room there. Um, if it's more than $2 difference in shipping, then generally I will go back and refund the difference. But if it's just a little bit, then I don't, I don't know. The next thing that sold with it was this uh, Otagiri coffee mug uh, with the sailboats on it. Let me get this down here cooking so I can see. Um, I bought this for 50 cents, and this was... One of the, it was like, oh, I'm not buying coffee mugs anymore, but then I see this, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get it. Um, it, it sold for $19.99, uh, buyer paid shipping, I'm, uh, and so after shipping and fees and everything, I profited $16.74. Next up, um, this I picked up at a garage sale. It's in one of my, one of my very first haul videos that I did on the channel. Um, and I think I picked it up for about $2. I didn't go back and, and check, but, and I, I didn't have it in my, my bookkeeping either, which is really strange. But I think it was about $2 that I picked it up for this, and it sold for $30. Um, and so after shipping and fees, now I made a oopsies on the shipping on this one because I charged $3.50 for shipping. I was going by size when I looked at it, and it was a pretty heavy little hefty little thing. Um, so it cost almost $9 to ship it. It was it was weird because it didn't fit quite right and it was really heavy and I probably should have uh, put it in a bubble mail, you know, like the, once I boxed it, put it in the uh, flat rate bubble mailer, you know what I'm talking about? So it would have been five something. But I didn't think about it at the time and now I'm looking at that like, why didn't I do that? Um, but you know what? Live and learn. Still $20 profit there, $20.01. Next up is a rainbow coffee mug that I sold. May your day be filled with happiness. And this one sold, let's see, I picked it up for a quarter. It sold for $14.99. And after shipping and everything, it profited me $14.26, which is really good. Come on, you. My little um, spreadsheet down below is not cooperating. Well, okay, we'll figure it out. Next up, I just closed that tab, so let me reopen it, edit, and do close tab, please. Thank you very much. And it's the Year of the Monkey mug. I bought two, when I bought this one, one was the monkey, one was Year of the Dog. Um, so my Year of the Monkey mug sold. I bought it for 25 cents, and it sold for $24.99. Uh, people love their Chinese Zodiac. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it sold for $24.99, so profit was $23.61. Next up, this um, set of luminary bags, these um, pop out to be like lunch sacks, you know, and you would be like this, you know. Um, so there were 12 of them in that lot of wrapping paper that I got, that big tub a while back, you remember, where everything ended up being about 10 cents um, when I averaged it out. Come on, my little spreadsheet down here. Okay, I'm gonna fix this because I'm gonna make it crazy. It's 
gonna make me crazy. Okay, give me a second. You got this. I don't want, here's the deal. I don't want to do a lot of editing on this video. I just don't. All right, so here we go. Where did they go? Here they are. Um, there it is. Okay, so uh, she, she bought them for $19.99, and after shipping and fees, that profited me $19.19 uh, because it was about $0.10 cents to pick up, um, and there was a little wiggle room on the... It was about $0.90 cents difference or something. Sold a tie, Christmas tie. I picked this tie up for $3, and it sold for $27.99, uh, so my profit there was $23.90. And here, um, and this, this a lot of times on Etsy, I, you know, I don't have, there's not a best offer feature, but I do put at the top of my shop, you know, if you would like to make me an offer, you know, we can discuss negotiating the price. And this lady did, she said, I really, really love Jeff Gordon. Can we work out a price? So I gave her a deal on the Jeff Gordon scrapbook that I picked up for a dollar and sold for $20.00. Uh, she did pay shipping, all my Etsy sh sales are shipping. Um, so I, my profit was $19.14. Sold another pair of cufflinks. I've had these for a little while. They're fabric covered like silk um, cufflinks. And these I picked up for a dollar. Uh, they sold for $14.99. And so after everything, $13.93 was the profit. <clears throat> And this was a necklace that I kind of despaired of ever selling, but because it's not really like amazing, but it, you know, it was okay. I got it in a lot of, of other stuff. Um, so it was $1.87 for this necklace because I kind of averaged everything out. out. Um, and it sold for $22.99. So that was pretty impressive. And it went overseas. So the shipping was $12, but it, well, I charged $12 shipping and it ended up being nine something or other. So I need to look at maybe a refund some there. So my profit was $21.64. And then here's another, um, you know, I got an email from a, a lady. I had lotted these together, which maybe wasn't the best idea because they're not really selling. I have some other ones I lotted together. But she emailed me and she said, hey, I really want the Razorbacks. Would you mind, you know, would you separate the lot? Uh, and on Etsy, there is a feature where if you have a lot like this, you can, you know, say buy the whole lot or buy one, buy this, buy that, you know, and, and separate them out. Um, so I went ahead and pulled the listing down on eBay because you can't really do that. But then on my Etsy listing, I went through and itemized it. So if someone wanted to buy one or the other of the different Demitas, these are little Demitas mugs. Um, and so I did. I sold her the Razorbacks one. And these were my grandmother's. She collected a lot of porcelain stuff. So it was zero dollars, um, sold for nine ninety nine, just the Razorbacks one, and so my profit there, uh, the shipping was five fifty, um, so the profit ended up being eleven dollars and seventy cents. Wow! And then this is a hat pin holder. Uh, my grandmother actually painted this one. Uh, she painted a lot of porcelain and. And don't fuss at me for selling something of hers because you have no idea how much of her stuff I have. She painted, I mean, I can't, I can't even just, just, anyway. So she painted this one, um, and I was okay selling it. It wasn't one that had a lot of sentimental value. So this uh, poinsettia hat pin holder kind of vase sold for $31.99. And so after shipping and fees and everything, my net was $32.39. Man, my shipping and my... <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's really off uh, on a lot of them, but maybe I need to go back and look at my shipping profiles. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then this one, let me tell you, I just got this one not long ago. And uh, again, I couldn't find it in my bookkeeping spreadsheet. Uh, I think it was about a dollar or so that I, pay I paid for it because I bought some other ornaments, another cat ornament, and it was about a dollar or something. That, but I, I couldn't find another one exactly like it. And it looks like Laurel Birch, but it's not signed anywhere, so I didn't feel comfortable saying it was for sure Laurel Birch. I put Laurel Birch like um, because it's that same style. Uh, so I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and list it high because I know her stuff goes for a lot, and I couldn't find anything exactly like it. So I listed it for fifty nine ninety nine, and sure enough, it sold. Um, was yeah. Anywho's, uh, so my profit there was fifty five dollars and sixty nine cents the ornament and then another one of my grandmother's dolls sold this is sleeping beauty 
she sold for $39.99 and um, after shipping and everything, my profit was $42.87. Don't get me started on the shipping. I know. I need to look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's great that the profit's up there, but I hate being off by that much. I mean, yeah, it's in my favor, but, you know, I don't feel right about it. Anyway, and then this is a far side mug that I picked up not long ago for $0.50. Cents. Uh, it sold for $28.99. Which uh, profits me twenty six twenty eight, and this I don't know. He's gonna pop that. I just know he is. And then here we have got another uh, wrapping paper. Let me scooch it down. I had a lot of sales on Etsy in the last two weeks. This is good news. Uh, another one of the wrapping papers. Aren't those funky? <laughs> and these. Uh, Again, we're in that lot, so they were about ten cents. I lost it down here. They sold it for it sold for fourteen ninety nine, and so after shipping and fees is fifteen thirteen. That was the profit. And then these, um, I picked up a lot of Italian postcards. It's been it was a while ago, but it was a Ziploc bag at this garage sale, and there was like forty something of these vintage postcards in there, and. She had like 15 bucks on it. And at the time, I didn't know. You know, I was like, really? For, you know, because I was just starting out reselling. And so I was like, you want 15? Is that right? Is that the right price? $15 for these? And she's like, I'll take 10. I was like, okay. So, I mean, it was just at that point. I was like, oh, I guess I'll try. You know, I'll try it out. Whatever. They're cool. So I gave her 10 bucks for the bag, and they sure have paid off. Um, so over time, a lot of other ones have sold. I think I still have two lots left. But this lot of four sold um, for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, so after shipping and everything, it was eleven dollars and six cents. You never know. And this was given to me by, by my good friend Kelly. She was helping uh, clean out uh, her dad's neighbor's place, and she picked out some stuff for me. So this was free. Only I owe her a glass of wine. <laughs> when I sell stuff, uh, every now and then I'll sell something that that she scavenged for me and so I, I buy her a glass of wine or maybe a bottle this time because it's pretty good <laughs> so zero dollars is what I paid for it it sold for eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents it comes with these little pegs down here and you can peg you know what your grocery needs are or whatnot and random like spinning <laughs> if you're spinning your I don't know whatever <laughs> Oh, I lost it. Oh, no, I got to stay on topic. Gosh, I got a lot to do today. No, no, no. Okay. Focus, focus. Where is it? Here we go. All right. So, and this one, uh, they paid $8 shipping, and it was an oopsie on my part, and it cost a little bit more. So, my profit there was $16.81. And then here, this was another one of my grandmother's hat pin holders. Uh, so, it cost me zero. Uh, it sold for $19.99. And so my profit was $18.31. Are we on? Oh, we're still on Etsy. I'm telling you guys, get on Etsy. Uh, Chicago Cubs, I bought this and then I was like, oh, you know, maybe this is buyer's remorse. All right. So yeah, when I first bought this, I, I thought maybe I, it was not such a great buy after all. And this was another listing I forgot to take free shipping off of. Oh, well. Um, but it sold, for, I bought it for a dollar. And it sold for $14.99, which net me $8.88. And I think that's it for my eBay sale. I mean, Etsy sales. My Etsy really kicked it this, uh, the last two weeks. So let me scroll down so I can pull up my eBay sales. It won't take quite as long. All right, so here we have another um, sugar shaker type. I think this is more like a um, Parmesan type shaker, but my grandmother collected all kinds of shakers like that. Um, it sold for $23.10. I had a sale going on in my shop. Um, zero, it was free shipping, uh, so my net was $16.42. This is an Alan Jackson CD, a Christmas CD that I bought last year. Um, paid a dollar for it. It sold for $7.50, and then I have started charging shipping on some of my eBay things um, this holiday season. Uh, it's it hasn't really deterred my sales, so it's I'm gonna see about it. We'll see. I'm gonna play around with it. So um, my net there was eight dollars and nineteen cents. I'm trying to figure out how they paid so much shipping. I don't know. My calculations must be off or something on there. Okay. Next up, I did buy 
a couple of advent calendars. I didn't buy a lot of them. I bought three, and I need to see because I thought I took the third one down. But I sold two of them, uh, not for this price. I had a sale going, like I said. Um, I don't know. I decided not to send them into Amazon. I knew a lot of people were sending theirs into Amazon, and it was, you know, a lot of nail biting, and oh, are they going to sell? And then the prices are, I just can't, I don't know. I'd rather have steady sellers and. I know people make a killing, but I just, I don't know. And I like to have, especially those, I like to have them here. I don't know. I still have, and I still have one saved from last year. And I'm, I'm I think I'm going to keep, unless it sells for this price, then I'll sell it. But um, I still have one more that I think I may, you know, stick up in the closet. And I just do that. I, I put them in the closet and save them. I don't know why. So um, I sold two um, for... $57.59. <clears throat> so my profit, uh, let's see, I guess I can just pick one. My profit on one was $10.99, and the profit on the other, because the shipping was a little different, was $11.85. So I sold two of those, like I said. And then these were some of these figures. These were in a bag for a dollar at a thrift store. And I already sold another set. There was another one that I had the Mama Odie with it. Um, <clears throat> but these ones still sold for $20. And uh, so my profit after shipping and everything was $13.07. These were free shipping. And then I had a little count cross stitch needlepoint kit. And this I uh, picked up for $0.50. Cents. It sold for $19.19. And so that net me $13.98. Can you just see like the profits on Etsy are so much higher. This way closer to the actual sales price because their their fees are so much lower over there. I'm telling you. Sold another jacket. Finally getting out of this clothing game. <laughs> but this I picked up for nine dollars. What was I thinking? Is this right? I, I put nine dollars is what I paid for that. Is that right? Anyway, I sold it for $13.59, and they did pay shipping, and my, my net profit there was $5.16. I don't even know. <laughs> this was some more of the wrapping paper I picked up for $0.10. Cents. Um, it sold for $15, free shipping, uh, so my net there was $7.28. And this was a little snowman. I picked up some things at a garage sale. Um, so when I averaged everything out, it was $0.69. Cents. And it sold for $10.99, buyer paid shipping, $8.70. I've got to get in there and play. Seriously, I need to go sit down and just look at my shipping. Do I have what? I don't know what I had to set it, how heavy it was. They will complain, I'm sure, <clears throat> if I don't go back and refund some, because that's quite a difference. Um, anyway, so as of now, my profit's $13.47. Mm. All right, so... Littlest Pet Shop Corgi sold. This was in a bag of uh, other Littlest Pet Shop. The whole bag was $2.50, um, but I went ahead and just put $2. Here's what I paid for it, even though it's less than that, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so it sold for $12.79, and after shipping and everything, my profit was $12.67. I'm just not even gonna discuss that anymore. Okay, the pheasant, this is a hat pin holder of my grandmother, sold for $24.29.24, I should say. And so after shipping and all, and my profit was $22.21. And last item to sell were these Closinet type enamel earrings. And I picked these up for $0.50. Cents. They sold for $17.59. And after shipping and fees, I net $18.49, again, with the shipping. But... We'll look at that, won't we? So I'm going to kind of have to estimate how much is uh, I'm going to have to adjust for some of the shipping. But as of now, the profit for the last two weeks was $590.58. Um, but I have a feeling, you know, there's going to be some refunds coming to people because I don't know. I just don't feel right gouging people on shipping. It just doesn't feel... I don't know, it doesn't feel sporting. Anyway, my sales, just based on everything else, my sales on Etsy were $421 for the last two weeks, 
and my sales on eBay for the last two weeks were $168. So Etsy one, Etsy one. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to hide my my house. It's always not just too messy. Usually there's like Legos all over the floor. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching the sales update. I know it was a long one. Hopefully next week it'll get back to the normal weekly schedule so things don't get so inflated. And also so I can take a look at the shipping problems that I'm having with my estimated shipping. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Um, and I will talk to you later. Hope your cells are going well. Go out and enjoy yourselves. Bye.